Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to exclude a virtual disk from your snapshots in VMware Workstation. So let's say you have a particular disk on a VM that you don't want to have included in the snapshots, but you want to have the other disks in there. So on this computer, we have this 90 gig drive and this 100 gig drive here. So let's see, you know, this has Windows on it. And let's say this disk has a bunch of stuff that we don't need taking up room for snapshots or stuff we don't care about. So we want to exclude it and just back up this one here in our snapshots. Or I guess you can't really call a snapshot a backup, but you know what I mean. All right, so to do that, you got to take the disk you don't want in snapshots, click on it, make sure it's selected here, then click on Advanced. Make sure you got the right one here, Hard Disk 2, Hard Disk 2, and you want to make it independent. Now you're most likely going to want to leave it as persistent, so that way, you know, the files that you copy on that disk will still be on the hard drive itself, you know, just not in the snapshots, but you still want the files saved on the disk. Otherwise, if you pick non-persistent, anytime you put some files on that disk, uh, they're going to be removed when you turn off the VM. So we'll click OK. Click OK. Now we're going to turn on this virtual machine here. So I want to show you something first. Okay, so we've got the computer logged in here. We'll go open up File Explorer. So here's our two drives, the 90 gig and the 100 gig. So here's the one that's independent now. So we're going to put a new file on here. Call it Snapshot 1. So now watch what happens if we try and do a snapshot. We'll call this Snapshot 1. Click on Take Snapshot. Error occurred while saving. Operation is not allowed on virtual machines with independent disks. So what we got to do is we got to shut it down for this. So we still have that snapshot one file there. So we're going to shut it off here. Okay, so now we're going to do our snapshot. Snapshot one. So it's really quick since it's off here. Okay, so now we're going to power it back on. So now we're going to go in there and make a second file for Snapshot 2. Okay. So now we have this, this, this one is included in the, well, it's normally included in the first Snapshot. Then we're going to make a second one, which should have both these files in the Snapshot here. So let's shut down again. Okay, let's do a new snapshot here. Snapshot 2. And now one more time, I'm just going to power it on and do the same thing with the third file here. Okay, so now I'm going to make a snapshot 3 file. Okay, shut down one more time. Okay, so we can make one more snapshot here. Okay, so now we have three snapshots, three text files. So if you think about it, the first snapshot should only include the first text file. The second snapshot should only include the first and second text file. And this third snapshot should include all three. So what we're going to do, let's, uh, let's do this while it's running here. even though we don't need to, but just to show you that you can do it while it's running. So let's go back in here before we do this. Okay. So now, if you think about it, if we revert back to Snapshot 1, we should only have this text file because these were created after Snapshot 1 was created. So that's going to be our test here. So normally when you, you know, roll back that Snapshot, we'll only have, we should only have this file here. So let's go up to VM. Let's go to Snapshot Manager. So let's pick snapshot one. Let's go to go to. By restoring the snapshot, current state will be lost. Restore snapshot one, yes. Now it's going to do it while it's off because it was off when it was created. Okay, so now we're at snapshot one. Let's make sure here. So we are here at snapshot one. So let's start it up and see what we got. Okay, let's go to the drive. But you can see we have all three snapshots telling us that this disk here, virtual disk, 
this 100 gig one was not affected by the snapshots because we still have all of them. We should only have snapshot one. So once again, to set that up, go to your settings, go to the disk you want it to apply to, advanced, you got to do it while it's off and change this. Make sure you have it listed here too. Make sure it matches. Change it to independent, leave it on persistent, and then make your snapshots with it off. Otherwise, you'll get this message here saying you can't do it. So it's kind of a you know little catch there. You can't do it while it's running, unfortunately, but at least you could uh, exclude the uh, virtual disk from your snapshots to save yourself some space and whatever other reason you might be doing it for. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.